Hi, I am Miranda, and today I will be showing you how to draw a pick. You will need something to draw on, something, something to draw with, and something to color with. I am using a pink crayon for this video, but if you don't want to use pink for your pig, you can use any other color. First, we have to draw our pig's head. We're going to leave some room here, but we're going to go ahead and draw a circle. Next, we need to draw our pig's nose. In the middle of it, we're going to draw an ovalish like shape. It can be a little flat at the top if you want it to, or you can make it be fully oval. Next, we have to draw two little dots on both sides. So I'm going to draw one dot on that side, close to it. And then I'm going to draw another dot on the other side. Next, the pig needs some eyes. So again, we're going to draw ovals, but they're going, the ovals are going up this time. Next, we're going to draw another oval on the other side. This oval's longer and bigger than my other oval, but that's okay. Next, we need to draw our pig's, well, finish our pig's eyes. Not halfway completely, but almost halfway, we're going to draw a little upside down new rainbow shape. And we're going to do that same thing on the other side. And we're going to color in the top part of our pig's eye. Now our pig needs its mouth. So we're going to draw an upside down, a U, a big wide U, or, you, or a smile. Then, we're going to draw two lines that go across it, and we're going to do that same thing on the other side. Our pig's mouth is missing one thing. I mean face, sorry. It needs ears. So we're going to go ahead and draw that. And it's okay that my pig's head is a bit small. You're going to go ahead and take your sharpie or pencil or whatever and draw two triangles. What you're going to do, if one's bigger and one's smaller, so let this one's bigger some. So I'm going to draw another one inside it. But this one's smaller. So I'm going to draw another triangle outside it. Notice how I'm keeping it really close, but there's only a bit of space in between it. Now we have to draw our pig's body. So it's going to be a long oval that connects here. So we're going to draw two dots from the pig, and we're going to make it come out. I have a very long pig. You may make your shorter if you want. You can do it however you would like to. Next, we're going to draw our pig's tail. Pigs have curly tails, so we're going to go out a teeny, teeny bit, and then we're kind of going to make a C, and then, but then we're going to go curl it in more, Go over it, and then we're going to make a C again. Go over it, and we're going to do that step one more time. Make your C, go over it. That is my pig's tail. Next, our pig needs its legs. So, I'm going to make two right here. Because we don't draw one here, one here, one here, and one here. So I'm going to draw one 
there and I'm gonna make it like that and then I'm gonna make another one I'm gonna leave a bit of room in between my pig's legs but not much and you're gonna repeat that same step on the other side this time you're gonna start from here so you're gonna go down and I'm looking trying to make them the same length. This one's a bit fatter, but that's okay. Next, we need to color our pig. I might not recommend using markers for this because you can't shade lighter. For my pig's ears, I'm gonna make the inside of the ears lighter, so I'm gonna shade gently. Look, you can't you can't see it that well. Kind of see a teeny bit here, but you want to keep it nice and light. And we're gonna light shade in lightly on our other pig's ear. Now we're gonna shade in darker for the outside. You don't have much space for the outside though. So if it's just like this, you're just gonna go right here. You're gonna press a bit harder for this though. Next, we need to color the pig's nose. We're gonna make the nose darker. But we're not pressing, I'm not pressing super hard because I don't want my crayon to break. And now we're going to go ahead and color in the rest of our pig lightly. This is my completed pig. As you can see, since mine started getting a bit too dark maybe, I made the nose darker. And you can't really see the ears right here, but. So this is my completed pig. You can add a barn in the background, any detail you would like. And, and if you like this video, then you can check out some of our other videos or subscribe to our channel. Bye! I hope you enjoyed learning how to draw a pig today.